Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world and we are back. This is a supply extraction that we're going on Operation Crystal Sleep. So we're going to see if we can put the enemy to sleep and get away with all the supplies that we need. We're heading to the wilderness of New Mexico for this one. Let's get down there. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. Okay, as you can see, it looks like we're in the wilderness, and we're back kind of in a corner of the map here. We can see the at least they always let us know where at least one crate is, but there's usually a little Advent, Advent facility over here. Uh, where the rest of the crates will be. So it's a matter of trying to move forward unseen and get set up in uh, hopefully what is a proper location around the crates so we can start marking them and or unmarking them, or unmarking the advent crates that they're going to try to take out. Uh, let's see, who do we want to use as kind of a, a leading force? On this one so we don't have a skirmisher we don't have a lot of obvious we have a sniper let's see who I want to do yeah someone with an SMG so uh, coach why don't we why don't we get you going and you'll have a decent detection range as we start moving you forward got it Move in. now this is one of those it's not a timed mission so it's, we, we don't have to be uh, the fastest afoot although I think right off the bat we should be able to double move here and get a bit of vision down below. Come on, boys. We got cryptos to kill. And we don't see anything right off the bat, so we'll we'll hustle some others up towards you also. Ten four. And a number of us, we gotta remember about about uh, half of us are rookies. So I have to keep that in the back of my mind. The aim might not have progressed, might not be as high as the, the squaddies. Uh, we got to rely on our grenades because we're all carrying SMGs, that kind of a thing. But boy, we have ourselves a sniper. Good to go. I'm hoping we can put our sniper to good use. Okay, no sound cues early on, so let's uh, keep going, Coach. Let's get let's get down there and start figuring out how we're going to have to set ourselves up to make this thing happen. All right, and let's see. Well, that was a blue move. I think we could probably get away because probably most of the enemy is not as farther back. So I'm going to push again for another double move. And after this, we're going to have to... Well, you know, there can be a, those, those random drones out there. So I'm not going to quite push all the way forward yet. Team, I'm moving out. Double time. Copy that. Tempo. Bewegung. Bewegung. Roger that. Hey, hat das jemand gehört? All right, we've got our first sound cues. We've heard them for the first time. And yes, I heard them. So kind of off in this direction. Uh, we're going to start being a little more careful as we move forward now against uh, this heavily forested section of the map. I didn't come out here to sightsee. What do we get to shoot something? So far, nothing. We have potential, another potential. You can start looking for these crates with the white markings on it. We potentially have another crate to pick up there. Uh, but let's 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 get everybody moving forward before we figure this totally out. And 
we could sometimes get sight through that door. Sometimes there's a pod sitting over here. Let's have let's have you take a peek over here, Shane Vanson. See if you gain sight through the doorway. Affirmative. Moving out. Nothing obvious. I'm gonna put you here just in case. All right, we're gonna get you moving over in this direction. How about the how about the wood pile? Bin unterwegs. Verstanden. Rücke ab. I'm on the move. All right, we'll, we'll bring our. Well, the sniper can't get that much farther forward, but. There's more clear lines towards the center, at least. The other option is seeing if we can get our sniper, once we clear the train, see if we can post our sniper up here to kind of cover the battlefield. I like that idea when that's able to work. Position confirmed. But that's not something that can work all the time on these kind of maps. Trigger fingers on the ready. Good to go. Quiet. Did you hear something? So we still hear the sound cues. I think we're gonna start seeing something with this move coming up. You got it. And I lied. <laughs> we don't see anything yet. Uh, I'm gonna bring you. Machine hater, we're gonna take you into this position. Let's see what you see here. We're gonna. I, I want to get start getting vision on the other side of the train, if possible. All right, Court Wagner. Uh, you know, it's dangerous coming through this door. So I wonder, Shane Marine Grunt. Excuse me, Shane Boom Vanson. <laughs> Old habits are hard to break <laughs> with this commander. I'm wondering if uh, you'll be able to see anything here. Moving to position. And the answer's no at the moment. So, uh, Kurt, we're going to bring you here. Schon unterwegs. And I am actually in hopes of being able to position my sniper here. I'm going to bring my sniper to the base of the ladder. Moving to designated position. And we'll just hunker. Holding! And I think I'm not going to push anybody farther forward at this point. So let's just, uh, I got one individual I don't want to leave behind though. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to push you this far. That doesn't even provide full cover for us now, does it? And there can be more crates over by, I always call these the walkie-talkies. They always look like walkie-talkies to me. Where do I want to push you? I think we'll just do, we'll, we'll play it safe with some blue moves here. Hit it there now. Trigger fingers on the rich. Overwatch. Give it the shots. Now, for some reason, uh, the Overwatch uh, didn't end the turn, so let's end it. I think I heard something. All right, so we are definitely hearing. I heard foot, pa you know, pitter patter of feet. Uh, we heard stuff out there. The question is, will we see stuff by doing this? On the move. The answer would appear to be no. And that would seem to indicate that I might just be able to position a sniper up here. Moving. And I'll hopefully get some good lines on the field that way. I'm going to try taking you out a little, little bit wide over here and seeing if we see anything off in this direction, pod-wise. I'm on the move. And we're not quite seeing a whole heck of a lot. 
So they're all trying to group off in the distance just out of our sight <laughs> to make life interesting for us. Um, we have a couple over here. I'm going I'm to bring you up this way, machine hater. Been on weeks. Makes me nervous when we aren't seeing that much out there. Rücke zur Zielposition vor. Kurt, you're going to be the first one. No, they are really hanging back on us now, aren't they? They are really hanging back. Well, there's no real reason to go. We do have another crate, looks like, out wide on this side. Uh, but I don't feel like I want to force you over here. I don't want to force you forward. Who do we got left to move? We got Coach. And Coach, uh, we'll start inching you forward also. Actually, we, we could really inch you forward and see what we see out there. Let's roll. Since it's full cover. And there we go. Uh, wouldn't that be nice? That's the whole reason I brought you by. And we have a big explosion potential there also by making that explode. So we want to be careful we don't count on this cover much ourselves. I do like the idea of hopefully them wandering towards us and uh, getting to do the big flamethrower opening. That would really get me excited. I think what we'll do, I don't have a sense if we have too many crates off wide on this one. I'm not getting any kind of indications. Look like we might have another crate there. So I, I think we'll just play full cover while we can, because we're going to have to at some point move into half cover. Moving to designated position. And coach, why it's showing you have two movements, something screwed up here, uh, but it seems to indicate you have two movements and you do not. So I think with everybody moved safely, uh, let's just overwatch everybody. And for you, uh, we're going to hunker you down. We don't have a stock available, or we didn't yet. I think we finally picked one up. Uh, that would allow you to steady your aim and make your next shot uh, that much more accurate. We don't have that luxury yet, so just hunker down. Since In position. There's not much else you can do. Ah, they're moving farther away. They're going to make it more difficult for us to do that flamethrower opening. I was hoping they would wander towards us. Uh, there's a lone drone, Hostile though. Targets in sight. Uh, that if it could have been a little closer, could have easily wandered into us over here on this side with Shane Marine Grunt Manson. So we got to be real careful about how we use you. Shane Vanson. So I'm kind of thinking about, I think it was far enough back. I don't want to be too aggressive, but at least we have uh, some semi full cover here. Put you in range of some cart cartons on this side. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And did we pick up? We did not happen to pick up what we were looking for. So we could try moving forward a little bit more yet again. We have full cover here. We're going to come out this side. Uh, just keep me close to the squad. I would love to ideally find yet another pod so we have a better idea of more than, than, than just this one out there. I'm a little nervous now that we know there's a drone floating around here about pushing too far forward, especially if it's not corner cover. Hmm. Maybe here. Verstanden. Bewege mich zum Ziel. Okay, we definitely see that pod, and we know uh, so that's four, not quite half the map potentially. Uh, I think I'm going to bring you here. That actually is corner cover. Bestätigt. Rücke aus. 
got our sniper who's not going to do any sniping this turn. Well, let's just hunker. Well, let, let's make you hunker last after we get through everybody else. How about that? Good copy. Moving on target. I'm on it. Eyes on the prize. Mir entgeht nichts. Feuerschutz. And uh, we are just going to hunker you. Maintaining position! On Overwatch. I really want to open with a flamethrower. I really want somebody to wander towards us instead of away from us. And we don't need a drone activa act accidentally activating us, which is could very well happen. And ruin all the fun that I want to have here. This is what I don't want to get too close to, guys. We're seeing a lot of crates here. There is one crate wide. <sighs> I'm going to start moving potentially towards that and see if we see anything. No problem, Commander. There's another pod, and that one has uh, an officer in it. Uh, and it all could be ruined. It could all be ruined by the stupid drone exposing us here near the edge, practically near the edge of the map. It better better darn well angle towards the train next turn. I'm telling you, or I will not be a happy zigzag at all. Um, well, if we go live, we're going to be seen by both pods right now. So, I don't think there's, I don't know if there's any way to avoid that. Because, yeah, you can see both pods alone. So, uh, we might as well try getting ourselves in, in potentially the best cover possible. For when all heck breaks loose. Been shown on unterwegs. Okay, Kurt. Kurt. Position confirmed. We've pushed pretty far forward. Uh, let's hope <laughs> uh, we're going to be able to take them out when push comes to shove. Yeah, all you can do is. Uh, Overwatch and hope he doesn't reveal you this turn. Uh, let's get you hunkered down. Staying put. And everybody else is going to Overwatch and get ready in case, in case we get revealed by that pesky drone Overwatch. this turn. Oh no! please, drone, don't, please, don't get us exposed because we might be in flamethrower territory very, very soon. There's nothing more fun than a flamethrower opening. There we go. We're getting exposed. We're busted. Now they're going to scatter and make a, a flamethrower that much less likely. Well, we took out Happy the officer. Now. All right, guys. We're going to have to get hustling and moving now. If we come here, we might just, if we're lucky, let's, let's, let's check a flamethrower. It shows that it, it could come out to the side and over one, and that should be enough from here. One, two, three, four, I think that's enough to pick up with an early flamethrower. The early flamethrower goes out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so I'm, I'm bound and determined while we don't have this other group over here that activated we got lucky i hope moving I am, i'm moving forward but i'm also moving potentially away from them so can i get where i want to get to use my flamethrower and make commander zigzag a happy camper coach get moving and there there's a chance another pod gets revealed in the process team i'm moving out 
Okay, the HUD I didn't think we were going to reveal got revealed. And now, as coach, we might get flanked here pretty quick. Let's see if our burning can do the job that we're hoping it can do. Now, I, I know we picked you up. Come on now. There we go. We got both of you now. Burn, baby, burn. Flame on. Okay, the guy in the front is burning. The guy in the back uh, burnt to a crisp and uh, is no longer <laughs> viable. With this guy burning up here, at least it said he was burning. Uh, with this guy burning up here, he should uh, burn out next turn with only one health left. That means we can renew our focus on some other enemies over here. We're gonna easily get flanked right here. That's, that's the one thing that has me worried right now. Uh, let's look at our sniper and get an idea. You can see everybody except the drone. And nobody's quite flanked. And other than that shot, which is full cover, the rest are half cover and, and give us half a, half a decent chance. So I'm probably uh, gonna focus on the sentry potentially, depending on who else can move and how they can move. Uh, what I'll probably do with you is back you off and throw a grenade at this thing. And we may, we may end up leaving this thing to potentially stun us. Uh, because uh, these guys can hurt us more than uh, someone getting stunned, I believe. So, let's think about you, Machine Hater, and what you can do for us. You can move pretty far forward and throw a grenade on these guys. And these are crates. Sometimes crates, like wooden fences, sometimes are a little more destructible than your average thing. So, who else do we have to follow up? We also have uh, Gleaser over here, who could potentially come over if some of these crates don't explode and get a get a flank on the sentry if we need it uh, the trooper can then get sniped potentially so we have multiple grenades and, and different things that we can use so uh, machine hater you're you're doing first grenade duty for us i'm afraid a little afraid if we if we don't have to move forward can you reach with your grenade here no so if i have to move you forward i kind of well, can you reach with your first grenade here? How about that? And the answer is yes. Let's try it. Nim dust. And I see crates still standing. We did destroy one enemy, the sentry. And we did destroy a crate, so now for our sniper, he would be standing in the open. And if I have one more shot over here, if I can find you, Maltese, I could not get you close enough. And that's not an amazing shot. Now, yes, you would get two shots by doing that, but it's not an amazing shot. I don't know that I necessarily want you near that. Uh, this will be a slightly better shot. And the, uh, the only problem is, uh, with your next promotion, you, you'd be able to pick up walk fire that might have been able to do the job. But we don't have that yet, so I need to stop thinking about it. <sighs> Let's move back on this drone for a second, because really, the only thing you're going to do for us, uh, Shane, is, well, you're going to live up to your nickname, Boom, and you're going to throw a grenade that goes boom on this thing and how far can you throw it yeah so if i move you as far away from the drone as we can get we'll throw a grenade order. back on it well we know it was there you got you got to be kidding me that you can't see it from there now you got to be freaking kidding me well we're throwing it where we know it is because it, 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 it exposed you, so it's got to be within this circle. Drag out! Does it tell me what we did? Nothing! 
You're right above where... Oh, was it directly above me? So it was out of the circle. Oh, I misread that. No wonder I couldn't see it, because it was behind the post. Holy smokes. That stinks, and I can't see the drone. Hmm. Well, we can finish this guy off. That's our best chance. That's probably what we need to do. Hollow targeting ends our turn. And so does uh, f firing. Let's go for the sure, th well, almost a sure thing. Yeah, we got a crit on somebody we really didn't need to get a crit on. And uh, if I'm bringing you up to help us out here, unfortunately, Maltese, uh, we're bringing you up into a difficult situation. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's an explosive, and we risk it exploding by using it as cover on an errant shot from this guy. That's what, that's, that's what concerns me about taking this cover. But I feel like I need to have solid cover, so uh, I'm going to end up overwatching you because I don't want him moving and flanking us over here because I have a feeling he's going to be tempted by that situation. <sighs> and while I could use someone else to move up here, I, I, I can't flank him. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Maybe what we do is we try bringing you up. We risk another pod activation. That was the whole reason I didn't really want to do this. But I can throw a grenade, and we are in full cover if that happens. Cross your fingers. Endless. We got lucky. We're gonna hope this is a good grenade that takes the guy out. Grenade! And it was just an average grenade that didn't quite do the job. And I was really hoping it would because I kind of wanted to come over here and I probably still will to try and provide a little protection from our guys over here. Problem is then you'll get flanked. Is that close enough for Overwatch to, pro to protect our team? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, now I'm moving up here to try and get a graze shot here since the drone, we, we're, we're just gonna leave the drone and go all out this way. It is clear. Unless it's a really... Advent force is sighted. Well, we found another drone. Yet someone else that could get stunned. He's burning. Not an issue. 55% uh, chance for a graze. I'm too far away for the shotgun. Uh, we're, we're going for the graze, and uh, we could, after this turn, have two folks stunned. Oh, gosh, that's a horrible situation. I'm probably not killing, because we don't have the, the good ammo yet to, to guarantee a kill here either. So here we go. Please get a graze and eliminate one of our risks. Coin flip. And uh, came up heads. We picked up another stock. He's able to flank us. Ouch. We took our first big damage. Now we're going to get stunned. Is he going to shoot us and try and kill us? He's going to stun us. Alright. This is the way we got to play it. This is not amazing. Now why? So no crates are being taken out yet. I thought, oh, here they are. They're marked over here. Okay. That's what I was looking for. 
Uh, we gotta see if we can get some folks over here to unmark the crates, but then half of us are disabled. So we may end up losing crates through my hubris. Uh, the good news here is he, he was stupid and he let us flank him. Legen wir endlich los! Yeah. Machine hater. We need some sure shots right at the moment. Um, now we got drones. Does my sniper have a drone shot? He has two drone shots. 79% on this one. This is the one we're going for because he's the one that will threaten us the most. We need max damage, guy. Max damage for Max the Grapevine. And we didn't. That didn't do much. In fact, that was pathetic damage. That was minimal damage. Holy smokers. Oh man, they're, they're, they're just gonna start picking us off, these freaking drones. I've never had drones that I've had to worry about like this. Uh, we can not get over, we can get over here to mark this, but then we're gonna get stunned again. So the, the, the thing, the, the, the decision to make right now, well, first of all, I only have an SMG. We're not taking that down. Oh, well. Uh, we're gonna come over here and mark this crate for ourselves. Bin schon dabei. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder and is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. I kind of feel like I, I need to get a big powerful shot here. I'm going to lose that loot. Oh well. We can't have everything we want in this world. And we're going to try and get lucky. And hit on both our shots. And not get minimum damage? Oh, we have to reload too. Or if we're only getting one shot anyway. Alright, I'll go. This is I'm not going. being played well. Can you imagine right now? Zero percent, we're not close enough. Holding. And we're losing one of the crates out there. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. And here comes the next stun. I, I, oh no! What? We got lucky. Here comes another stun. Focus. No, we got disoriented Firebrand instead. On deck for so apparently it can't Keep stun two crates, turns in a row. Five. Is that something that is a thing with drones? Uh, because I can still shoot this guy right next to me, even though I'm disoriented, because I am so close and I have both barrels. In fact, I can save a barrel. Why the heck not? We're guaranteed to kill it. There you go. So someone's looking out for us. And, uh, we're saved. Now, who's looking out for us back here? Because at this close range, our shot sucks, but I can't move and shoot. So that sucks also. Now we have a grenade. So let's find out if we're close enough, because then I will move my sniper. Let's find out if we can be close enough. Hoffentlich lohnt sich das. And let's just see what your arm looks like. Gleaser. Yeah, we, we can't get it up on top of the train, at least in distance enough. So you're going to take a, a shot. Beim nächsten Mal treffe ich ihn. And a 70% shot missed. Now we have to hope. <laughs> that a 50% shot 
can hit because there's no way I'm moving you. We can't disorient with a flashbang, a drone. And uh, yeah, I wasn't feeling confident. Enemy we're, we're, is still up. we're gonna have this first mission where everybody's stunned. Okay. I think what I gotta do is our uh, high speed it back here. There is a crate on the roof which nobody would be able to get to. How many more turns are we stunned here? I'm not sure. Does it say? So it the, the stun apparently will end this turn, so this is what I'm gonna do. You could be in range if this one gets marked by them. So I am going to run you back. We're gonna run you like the wind, machine hater. And uh, just a reminder, this is a machine. You hate them. Uh, we're gonna send you back as a potential stun target, although I think our sniper is a higher priority. But you're gonna be in range for grenade. You'll be in range for grenade. I think you may come out of stun also if we're lucky and maybe we can unmark some crates to get marked coming up here soon. We'll find out. Hold up, Gates! Reinforcements in four turns. Oh, oh, some serious wounds here. Oh, they're disorienting us. I can take these minor Something. hits. Okay, our guys in the back. You're gonna take these crates back for us. I'm going. And uh, then we're gonna reload. Good to go. We have a flamethrower, dude. That came back to his senses, and you're coming here. On the move. And you will now mark the crate. So we've gained those two back. Now the question is, well, you won't be able to shoot, so you're going to be hightailing it out of there, and we are going to be throwing grenades up on this, uh, up on the top of this train. So uh, we'll have you move. Where are the most crates that we might need to mark? Well, there's one in the back. We'll just have you move towards it. Yeah, you won't be reloading, but move, move, move. the enemies will mostly be gone until the reinforcements show up, and I just realized we have to evacuate from this mission. So uh, while we're at it, uh, we're going to... It just uh, may have cost us some more health also. I'm going to throw the evac back here. There are two crates up here to potentially get marked, and then we need to start heading... Uh, there's a crate here, a crate there, and a crate there. Putting, uh, we're, we're centralizing this thing. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Because of all the Hold stuns, tight. this mission is taking terribly long. Coach, you got two ticks of damage out of five. Yikes. And you reloaded, so you don't have actions. Uh, I think what we'll do is, uh, Coach. Mark this right now. Uh, just keep me close to the squad. And then boom, you only have a flashbang. So uh, we, we need our grenadiers over here first. And I'm moving them close because I don't want to be out of range of a grenade. We gotta finish this guy. Was ist da drüben? Called a drone. That's what's over there. Mach dich bereit für eine Überraschung. Two damage. Can our last grenade finally get rid of these <laughs> drones from my nightmares? Oh, those kids. Köpfe runter. Okay, they're gone. Now, let's go to the farthest reaching and start marking. Got it. Because we're gonna have reinforcements coming in pretty quick that we're gonna have to deal with. And 
they're gonna they're gonna get a chance to land before we get a chance to get out of here. Okay. Do we have any marked crates by advent? No, we do not. So let's. Uh, we got two turns to pick up some distant crates of our own. On the move. That better not have been a misclick. Okay, you good. You made it. On the move. got left how many we got left where are they is there any more we got seven left and we got to be close to having a mark them all there's one left back here by our sniper you can pick that up max and it'll allow you to reload here I come ready to go And you, is there, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm missing one somewhere. <laughs> Where has Zigzag missed a crate? Well, you know what? We're going to find out next turn. I can come back here in one turn. Would, would there be anything behind the building? It's probably something obvious that you all see that I do not. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Here, here, missing crate. Here, here, now. I don't see it. So since you are able to move fairly well, let's take a peek back here. Although it, it seems like it would stand out if we had one back here. Okay, well, I don't see it. I'm going to still take a peek back here. Move. Nothing uh, illuminating back here. It doesn't seem like it's back here. Nothing seems to be inside. I get no indication of where it might be, so we're running you back. Come on, boys. We got cryptos to kill. Okay, I don't, I, I'm missing it somewhere. I don't know where it is. We're just going to lose out on a crate is what it looks like. Yes, come at it. And uh, next turn we'll probably see officer, it yeah. marked somewhere out of reach, right? Hello, Sanktosh. Let's go find out where the red marker is. There it is, right in front of us. Is there someone that can get there and be able to overwatch? Uh, the answer is looking like a no. So I'm gonna keep you right here. You will be able to get out on the double move. Uh, I'm going to keep you overwatched for when the reinforcements show up. I don't know if it's immediately when it goes to zero uh, f uh, or, or what. Uh, I'm going to send someone else over here. Verstanden. Take back that crate so we can get a lot of them. And that should be the last one we need. So let's overwatch you. Moving to overwatch. Overwatch. And we're going to do a lot of Overwatch. What's over there? Scanning. Moving to position. Moving to Overwatch. Auf geht's! Bin dabei! More of them coming in!
Okay, so uh, this worked out just in time. We won't have to worry about the reinforcements because it does pop over here first. They will be arriving next turn when our evac appears, and it's still too early where any enemy, no, no enemies should be able to, to target, overwatch us as they jump in as reinforcements. So we broke our string of flawless missions, right, but it looks like it. we will get out of here. The, the last crate that's out there should already be marked by us. Yes, it is. So uh, we're getting ready to hustle on out of here. Affirmative. Covering and everybody now. from where they are will be able to make it out. Scan a beat. Auf geht's. So we'll just set our overwatches on the Scanning reinforcements, and then we'll get out. Got it covered. On Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. All right, so we heard him. We got a little target practice in. We froze this guy. <laughs> That's why there's often the delay. Yeah, we, we actually took one out. We don't get any kill experience beyond the, the, the seven to nine that we started with. So uh, it's just fun to, to do what we just did. Now it's time to escape and reap our rewards on the move. It is clear. I'm on it. On your skates! Bewegung, bewegung! Will do. Okay, we all are able to make it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're all there. Uh, what I'll do is... Uh, Take some pot shots while uh, we leave, just because it's fun to do that. Yeah, I didn't get it. Target neutralized. Way to drop him, Shane Marine Grant Vanson. Way to drop him. See you, Steve. No. Don't get any experience from it, but way to go. Packing it in! All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Now that was a weird mission, I'll tell you that much. Uh, but you can kind of see why if I have to put any enemy off to the end, because uh, I've made mistakes, which we did on this one, uh, it's going to be the drones, because they're in general going to do less damage than anyone else and uh, we did take a hit because I failed to get the graze on that guy it probably would have been better although he probably still could have repositioned as he did even if I went on overwatch so I think we we're just meant to have excellent instead of flawless and we're going to find out how much mission time we lose from that injury in just a moment after the all-important photo and such a pretty shot with the trees in the background. No retreat, no surrender. Well, we didn't give up on this one, even though it looked... Uh... <laughs> Did some of you worry at one point, thinking all of us were going to get stunned <laughs> in the middle of the map? Uh, holy smokes. After the war's over, maybe you can start your modeling career. <laughs> I wonder which one of you he was talking about. Heart in your heart against those who would harm the union between humanity and the elders. They are no longer your brothers and sisters. They rejected us all the moment they stood against the elders. All right, so uh, even though it was not flawless, Operation Crystal Sleep was a success. Max Grapevine dealing the most damage on this one. Our shot percentage notice was only 50% this time. Wow.
An impressive performance, Commander. A Coming in injured, and I feel every deployment. I feel fortunate that we only are losing you, Coach, for 13 days. So uh, thanks for being a tough guy and uh, coming back in only 13 days. Very happy about that. We got promotions all around. Of course, the rookies got promoted. And uh, more importantly, we even got promotions uh, from our squatties, too. So we're going to take a look at the promotions. I'm not going to spend as much time because we're, the mission's still got to go and find some new missions. Or our episode's got to find some new missions. So uh, we're, we're going to do the abbreviated promote and not pick a lot of, a lot of perks that I'm uh, not going to plan out a lot of perks. So let's take a look at our ranger. And I made mention of it earlier. Uh, we have close and personal, which, you know, extra crit damage can be important for the shotgun, but... It's hard to get in position with these shotguns, but uh, we, we got to find you a good bond mate to give you that extra move to do it. Ever vigilant, if we went for that overwatching kind of build, would be a very important thing to potentially pick up. I'm taking walk fire. Highly accurate shot with plus 30 bonus to hit. It's less damage, but against the guy that we were going against, all we needed was that one tick of hit. That's the perfect situation for walk fire. And it just shows that you are meant to pick it up, Maltese. We will at least run through. Iron Curtain down here, deep cover, low profile, probably a good one to pick up. Uh, coup de gras, if we end up getting somebody, uh, a, a, a grenadier that maybe has uh, the extra shot of a ooh, lightning reflexes, I'll take that for anybody. And Serial, a chain shot ability, every kill with your assault rifle, your actions will be refunded. Pretty expensive for an average combat intelligence. Uh, we'll think about it. We got a sharpshooter promotion. And uh, I'm not a big Dan. Uh, I'm not a big fan of snapshot. To, to pick up snapshot, you know, we, we have other guys that run around and shoot. I want my sniper to deal damage and focus on damage perks. Or if he doesn't have amazing aim, maybe focus on the hollow targeting kind of build. So I'm picking death from above and killing an enemy at a lower elevation with your sniper rifle refunds a single action. And if we pick up a stock, that means we get to improve our aim. So uh, I, I do like death from above. Field medic. I usually don't have my sharpshooters carrying the med kits. It's usually my specialist. Maim, fire a shot with your primary weapon that immobilizes the target until the end of their next turn kind of feels like a, it's, it's a different version of disabling shot or something like that. Reposition. Once per turn, gain an additional move action after taking a standard shot. But it has to be against a flanked or exposed target. Mm, potential. Shadow strike while concealed. Gain 50 bonus, 50 aim. Well, I tend to open with... I like opening with grenadiers and flamethrowers, ideally. But that could be potential. We'll, we'll mark them as potentials. Uh, Tradecraft improves infiltration time, which can come in handy with that big gun. But I don't know if it's worth 30 ability points. We'll see. Full kit, extra grenade, not really on my sniper. And rapid fire, fire twice in a row with an enemy. Well, I'd like to sometimes pick up this, but if I do rapid fire, and eh, I'm going to mark it as potential. We only have average combat intelligence, so we're not going to be able to get everything I want necessarily. And uh, coach, you took it for the team here just so we could use your flamethrower and make commander happy. Sorry about that. Uh, we, well, I, I'm not going to build you as a suppression build. Uh, it's really only I build a flamethrower build or I build a uh, more of a cover destruction kind of a build. And your aim was averagey. I'm trying to think. And you know what? I, I'm probably going to end up building you as a flame build just because your mobility was is good enough. But I still am going to go with fire in the hole just because you do have a rocket to shoot. And it really makes a difference on the accuracy. So I'm, I'm going to pick that up. And then we're probably going to end up going a flamer build with you. Let's just make sure there's no flame perks down here. Precision shot. That's only with your main weapon, I think, so it's not really going to help with anything else. And you're carrying an SMG usually, 
up close and personal same thing smg grenades you don't carry a ton of them and it says grenades so it doesn't it doesn't seem like it would match with fire in the hole and a rocket executioner it's more of a shooty thing rupture evasive getting you up close it could be and th these are more shooty things and I tend to have you flamey this so I, I don't know I'm thinking evasive could be good to help dodge on a mission uh, since you do get up close with that flamethrower so there we're looking you have average combat intelligence and I didn't do my promotion I'm doing fire in the hole all right the rest of us will get promoted later and we picked up supplies of 60 so that's good we missed out on one crate six Illyrium crystals very important Se seven alien alloys very important we can do our hybrid materials research now with that pickup as long as we don't spend it elsewhere. We do have a basic stock for a sniper to be able to steady weapon if we don't need to sell it. And emergency life support, which we potentially could sell. So, good haul, guys. So, I'm not going to do the promotions right away yet unless we find our new missions really, really fast. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to get out there and do our new missions. We have another technical and a ranger and a rookie but we don't know how we're promoting you yet if it is to a specialist i like commander running things i've got i like uh teaming up post. specialists uh team for bond mates and so it's going to depend on how we get you guys rem we'll look at bonds in a little bit after we do our promotions but first i want to get new missions on board because we have nothing lined up at the moment and uh, we're gonna just get in here searching. Let's make sure everybody is on Intel and we are gonna scan away till we find some more missions and then get back here and finish making contact over here. Vigilance is up to four. We've been doing a lot of missions in a row, boom, boom, boom. Uh, but strength is still one. So we have nothing to worry about there yet. Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. All right, so uh, they want us to examine an Advent officer corpse. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. All right, so we have the ability now to build armor-piercing rounds, which is really nice against those pesky drones, to be able to hand out some of those on the team. Yeah, they, you know... We can only build so many things because our funds are so limited, but AP rounds uh, can be handy having at least one person with those per team. It bypasses up to two enemy armor, and early on, that's really all the most armor that we mostly face. Um, hybrid materials uh, actually opens up. Uh, I think I'm going to do modular weapons first so we can start using things like uh, the stock that we picked up for steady weapon on our snipers, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, Advent Trooper Autopsy is important, unlocks the Proving Ground hybrid materials to start gaining, well, both magnetic weapons and combat armor. It, it, it's, it's also very important. 
uh, to be able to start unlocking vests and, and access to certain kinds of vests as we go forward. But I'm going to start with modular weapons first. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. I must admit, having successfully completed the operation necessary to remove the Commander's implant, I am intrigued by... Okay, so here we go. Let's start scanning some more. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. So we already have access to modular weapons. Uh, what a difference having a scientist in the lab. Can't wait till we get even more. So we can now use all these upgrades that we're finding on the map. And experimental weapons, our first inspired research, but this isn't necessarily a high sense of urgency for us at the moment. Uh, eventually to pick up maybe a frost bomb and or the hunter's axe, but I'm not so as excited about necessarily some of the other weapons and we, we have to build those things too, it costs money. So uh, we're, we're, even though it's inspired, I'm gonna pass it by in favor of, hmm, think in favor of the proving ground first and then hybrid materials no hybrid materials unlocks laser is it will get us the rest of the way to laser weapons and we the that's the upgrade i want first to begin commander all right let's keep searching for another mission only four days and this is a liberation mission uh this one at such a slow timer i'm gonna pass and it's also our main starting area i don't necessarily need to rush to liberate here so i'm actually gonna pass a mission up with only a four day timer let's hope we got a better timer this time six days five hours should be doable and this is the big one we got resistance personnel that will help us out on this one and we'll be getting a new rookie which I don't see a new name on that so if the new rookie uh, is not one from our pool I will be changing that once we pick them up so this one I do want to do operation mountain star so what we'll do is we'll get in here and uh, as soon as I pick out the team we will return okay here is the five-man team we're gonna be taking out we're looking at a drumix as our shinobi his bond mate uh, Blue Jay is coming along as our technical uh, Speshmik list is along as a specialist. We're going to see if we can't get him ranked up. Uh, also, we're going to get Carlos Sectoid on this one as an assault. I was going to take our other assault, uh, other assault that has lightning reflexes, but I decided, you know, I want to get as soon as possible while we're still at low levels. Try to get my second one with lightning reflexes uh, promoted. Because uh, I really value that perk so I, I guess you know what you're getting for your promotion Carlos and then I brought machine hater we I, I know we didn't do our promotions yet but I already know what I want to promote to machine hater too so let's just get in here and uh, do it he's gonna be a gun well he, he's gonna be a gunner for us so I wanted the big weapon on this one and uh, there you go we got some pressure available also potentially and uh, let's take a look at our weaponry that we're taking out on this one. And we got to get you your ablative. And speed wise, I'm still going to throw in. Yep, I'm throwing in another grenade because it's not going to slow you down. So uh, we have a fair amount of grades. We have one flashbang along. And hopefully that's going to be good enough. The only thing I'm going to do is I did equip a laser sight to improve our crit chance on our shotgun. Because uh, you always want your shotgun to crit. Well, there's a lot of way yeah well you want all your weapons to crit and then i'm also going to go in here and do an expanded magazine on our gunner because he tends to run through uh ammo really fast these are low level things that if we end up needing money at the black market we'll end up stripping out at some point but for now i don't plan a black market trip anytime soon so we're going to use a few of the ones that we have so here's the team we're going to start our infiltration uh it's it's uh Five days, 20 hours, so we're well under the mission expiration timer. And we're going to see if we can't rescue some more Haven personnel to improve our intel gathering and get better timers down the road. That's, that's the whole purpose.
Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Alrighty. We're gonna keep scanning. Gorilla Tactics School now operational. And let's take a look at the Villa, Villa, Gorilla Tactics School. And what we're able to do is we can throw in a couple of our rookies if we want. I think it's a 10-ish day training and we can just train them uh, to be any class that we want. And I may do that because I can only take so many out in the armory that we have right now because I got to focus a little bit early on uh, to get us promoted up to certain levels. And I'll show you the kind of things I'm talking about. Um, we also have officer training abilities, which is a locked. We need to upgrade to be able to unlock that. We need some power to do that and supplies, but we don't have anybody high enough yet ranked to be able to do that. So we'll, we'll hold off on that for now. Uh, we also have new combat tactics that are available. And the one I want the most requires that we have somebody ranked Sergeant. So if some of you, rookies and lower levels even some of the squatties don't get out as much right away this is this is a big reason why we do enemies drop additional items which can really help us uh, by selling in the black market help our economy that's a big one to pick up another one i do like to pick up is wet work uh, we don't need any special rankings for that one but i'm not going to get us down to zero supplies yet uh, but i do want to ideally pick this up because it can help with our ranking up at some point also but vulture comes first in my book but it's 150 supplies and we need a staff sergeant so we, we got to get moving so we can take advantage of that so this is why i still built it mostly for the officer training and the new combat tactics there's some really good stuff in there and out here, there's nothing else we're going to do. I will probably between episodes see some of my rookies uh, and maybe stick them into the Gorilla Tactics School and let you know about that. Uh, that's something I'll probably do off camera. All right, let's keep searching and let's get ourselves an another mission out here. Let's hope it has a nice timer. Yikes. Uh, not exactly what I would call a nice timer. The nice thing is uh, we could actually do it and boost it because uh, we'll come out a little bit ahead with some intel, only spending 25 to boost. So let's think about this one. I'm going to take a look at this one. So uh, as you know, I will come right back with the team we're going to take out on this one. All right, guys, I'm back with my decision already. And no sooner did I say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see about boosting this one because uh, I can because we're going to pick up intel, but I don't have enough intel to boost because <laughs> I have to have at least 25 to boost uh, to be able to pick up that intel. So we're not running. So we have our three missions here, even though we're not going on them all. No more will generate till these start dropping off. So now is the time. Let's get back over here, make contact with the Western U.S. And it'll also give us more options. Uh, for, for missions when these weird things happen. So uh, let's get over here and finish making contact. Setting course for Sector 9, Western United States. All right, we cleared our alien debris, so we recovered an extra 41 supplies. That's starting to, at least supplies-wise, feel a lot better. Yeah, we're up to 120 now. Uh, I'm wondering if I need to get over to the black market and buy and see uh, if we can get another either scientist or engineer on our side. Uh, let's just back out of here. I'm not going to build anything here yet. What I'm going to do is get my engineer over here and excavate some more. Or do I want to come down and do alien machinery? which gives me more, well, also gives me alloys along with those supplies. It'll just take a little longer. So we'll go for the quick excavation first. And do it that way. All right, let's continue making contact.
right, there we go. We now have the Western U.S. on our side. New regional contacts located. Gain access to East Asia, New Arctic, and New Australia. So uh, good. We got way more contact potentials now. And what we're looking at here is, uh, ooh, we got some strength over here in the Western U.S. and, and a vigilance of two. So, y yikers. <laughs> Let's make sure everybody's on intel. I'm going to see about popping in a Haven Advisor over here uh, to help us out. And we'll throw in our Grenadier. So the gamer's over there as our Haven Advisor there. And we'll get a Haven Advisor back over here too. We got a Shinobi we could put there. We'll just put our Skirmisher in there for now till we get another mission. Uh, strength three. You can do missions up to strength three without having it affect, like, like full infiltration will still be seven to nine missions. Maybe it'll move it. I think three might. Actually, it's only one and two that keep it seven nine. So we missions over here uh, could have more enemies. Could have more enemies. But I have a feeling uh, that strength may drop because I have a feeling some of that strength is heading over to New Mexico where the vigilance is three and the strength is only one. So they're kind of probably shifting troops via the western U.S. to try and bolster New Mex Mexico. That's my best guess now i'm leaning towards uh not scanning here just yet and seeing about the black market and i'm thinking and i'm eeny meeny miny mowing but i think i'm going to go for the second scientist over here and then come back and start scanning uh in the western u.s so because we just got our haven people in there all in intel where they're active but we're going to help them scan in a moment until we come over here and I think I'm going to see if we can buy a new scientist. Let's go find out. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. First I'm going to see what we might have available to sell. Still very interested there, very interested there. And Illyrium cores are important, but early on I don't quite need them yet. And I'm going to count on being able to find some more. Oh, and, and this is what I, I meant to tell you before. Uh, this little thing here, this tells you what they're used for, uh, the Illyrium core, and that is the, the, I think, the rendered Illyrium crystals. Uh, we don't know what that's used for. So the Illyrium core is used for the, the bottom kinds of things. Now, hair triggers. Stock is used for stocks. <laughs> So anyway, lyrium crystals, we don't know what they're used for yet. We haven't unlocked the research, so we have question marks. So that's what ob Obfuscate does. Uh, the drone wrecks, we don't know what they're used for. Alien alloys are used for AP rounds. That's one thing we've researched that we know they're, they, those are used for. So uh, that gives you an idea how this works. And this lyrium core one, uh, I don't know what the heck that means, uh, that it's for all those things. <laughs> That seems a little odd or a little off uh, on some of those. Uh, but I don't need it right away, and I think I'm going to sell it just to get extra funds. The stock, we're, uh, you know, we're ultimately going to hold out for better stocks, but now that I think about it, I'm going to hold on to it just so at least my snipers have something. Uh, we're going to sell this PCS, and I'm going to sell my suppressor. Advanced perception gives us extra aim. And just because it's advanced, I'm going to hold on to it for now. Elite scope for a sniper sounds good also. So I'm going to hold on to that also. And uh, we'll get an extra 40. Then we're going to buy. We're in a buying mood. Our specialists... What? Only 40 supplies? Oh, that's a specialist, not a scientist. So all that I... <laughs> I, I read specialist as scientist because I'm so used to seeing both, but we already bought this month. We bought already, and, and where are we on the month? So maybe what I'm going to do is uh, I misjudged. We haven't passed the end of the month yet. Four days for that. So, lordy, lordy, we can't pick up our next scientist like I was planning until next month in four days. So I wasted a little time coming over here. So the question is, do I pick up the engineer now and then come back and try to 
do a mission, gain some stuff, you know. Yikesy, yikesy, yikesies. Uh, since we're here, market is open. The extra engineer can be excavating, and that'll also help us get extra funds. So guess what? I was wanting the scientist, but we'll use the engineer to ex excavate, and we can then maybe use that, those funds, to help us gain another scientist. How about that? So let's do the excavation. Commander, we currently have no new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. So this one's going to take a lot longer at 30 days, but after seven days, we'll be able to bring our other engineer down here and speed that process up. So that's the plan here. All right, let's head back over to the Western U.S. and start scanning over here. Uh, we still have the three missions, so we won't find anything down in our starting location. Setting course for the Western U.S. Precinct. All right, so we're going to keep our eye on the strength here and see if we can notice when it passes down below. Otherwise, we're scanning. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. All right, so let's go see what becomes available. Tracer rounds uh, to help our aim a little bit. Hazmat vest, uh, like to build those at least right off the bat for my technicians and then down the road perhaps because of the poison immunity when we start facing snakes, that could be a plus, uh, but we'll think about that down the road, but they're available in the proving ground. So there's uh, impetus or impetus to get our proving ground built. And we have laser weapons that are now inspired. Guess what, guys? Our next research is going to be nanoscale vests. Actually, are available, and we got one free. We have to build any more, and this gives us uh, extra hit points and reduces crit chance against you by 25. Now, these are things I don't really hand out to everybody, but they're very handy against shinobis and that type that get up in awkward positions sometimes. There's nothing worse than having a shinobi take a slice and miss and then be standing next to that enemy. <laughs> it's nice to have a vest that reduces your critical hit chance against you. All right, uh, we're gonna go to the laser weapons. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Dr. Shen's constant vigil over my activities is starting to wear thin. All right, now we're gonna go searching for another infiltration. All right, let's review the target. 10 day timer, free captured rebels. This is a big one, resistance personnel, also a rookie Antros. Now I know he for a fact is uh, from our pool. So, and I think that's a random one. So either way, we're gonna get one resistance personnel. I would like more early on and less rookies to be quite honest but i'm glad to have antro soon to be part of the team and we're going to be able to do this one uh it's a very light infiltration we can easily take a team of five and over infiltrate and then probably get that down to the position that we would like to see it in to do this mission that's kind of what i'm thinking so we'll be right back as we pick out the team and have the team ready for this mission. All right, this is a team we're gonna take out. Uh, we are only doing a team of five on this particular one. Uh, our infiltration only gonna take five days, 23 hours, but we are gonna over infiltrate till hopefully uh, we get the count of the enemies down to that seven to nine range because uh, that's five that's almost double what we ha are infiltrating with so i think we will have no problem getting uh, a very light mission down to extremely light and face the seven to nine that we we, we desire um, as far as the team we got uh, anaconda out as our shinobi we got the gamer out as our grenadier maltes as our ranger i did give him uh, one of our elite scopes. Yeah, you thought I might have given that to the sniper right away, but uh, we're doing it here uh, to help with your aim because you also have high, you're a high aim individual and you have walk fire, so that'll help guarantee us potential hits and cover on weakened enemies. Uh, we brought 
Joker as our gunner, and we also brought a sniper. Yes, a sniper on this one. Uh, Max Grapevine, and we gave you the stock, so you'll have the ability to steady your weapon. That will help you increase your aim with the steady weapon. So that's why I split up these two things for the time being. We don't have that much to go around. So uh, there we go. Let's get infiltrated and see about doing this mission coming up. Deploy. There we go. We're going to start the infiltration. And uh, I think we will continue uh, scanning even more. Uh, we got this one at 98%, so guess what our next mission is going to be. And let's take a look at how it looks right now. It is 7 to 9 light for the jailbreak mission. And uh, this is what will be coming up next time for us. So eight hours of over-infiltration won't change anything. And there you go. I'm excited about it. Gaining some more resistance personnel, finally. Sometimes these are the first missions that pop up for me on a lot of my playthroughs or when I'm playing on my own. But it took us a while to get to a couple this time. But I'm fine with it. We're going to start growing our havens, make them more efficient at their intel work. Hope you enjoyed today's mission. That was our first non-flawless. A lot happening. Let's uh, see if we can continue the good vibes, though, overall, and have a successful mission next time. This is Zig Zag Zog, signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching, and I do hope to see you next time.